Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I'm doing some upcycling of some envelopes that have a window in them. So these are C6 envelopes, which means that they're just little. They're about six and a half by four and a half, roughly. And I've got a whole bunch of them and they're kind of like lost all their tack and everything. And I really don't use them anymore. So I thought that I would just make something with them. And the first step is to open them up. So I've opened it up just by using my score tool, just running it down. I find that that's just as easy if you ease it with the scoring tool or something that you can ease it down with rather than just pulling it off. And then the next step would be to cut this piece of cellophane out of the centre. I don't want this in here. You know, you'll see why later. Pull all that out. Doesn't matter if you rip a bit of the paper off as well because we're going to be covering all that anyway. And now I've got an envelope that is opened up with a hole in it. Now I'm also going to stick this down, just using a bit of glue stick at the moment because I'm going to be sewing on this so I don't need to have great tack. So that is the base for the envelope. And then the next thing is to take a piece of paper. Now I've cut this cardstock so that it's the right size. And this is one that I was doing before and I'm positioning that over the top of where it needs to go. And now I want to put a hole in here, but I don't want to go around it. So I don't want to have those curves to cut. So I'm just going to use now, just make sure I've got that all the way over because the card is a little bit bigger than the envelope. The reason that I've made it bigger than the envelope is because the envelope's a weird size. So it's a little bit hard to actually see, um, you know, cut the size exact. So I'm just going to do that there. And come here and do one on the side. So I'm basically making it into a rectangle rather than a rectangle with curved edges. It'll be much, much easier for me to cut that out. I'm cutting on the back of the paper because you're not going to see this. I'm drawing, I should say, on the back of the paper. I just want to make sure I've got that in there. So I've made the hole smaller than the actual size that's here. And that's okay. And now I'm going to cut this out. Now, to cut this out, make sure I've got that up the right way, and I do. I'm going to cut through here. I find it easier than trying to cut into there without cutting a, an entry point, if you like. Now, the reason is because it makes it easy to cut out. And you're not going to see that. Once I glue all this down and sew over the top of it, you're really not going to see that at all. And this is a bit of a prototype because I've got a whole heap of these envelopes and I want to make something with them. So I thought I could do like a another of my bulk runs. I know last time I only did six when I did this, but maybe I'll get a bit more done today. And this piece now with the opening there sits over the top of here on the front. So you can see that that works really well. So I'll tack it down again just to hold it until I go to the sewing machine. I've also ripped that bit of the envelope when I was pulling it apart, but it doesn't matter because I'm sticking this over the top of it. So you're never going to see that. Stick that down and temporary. And you can see here that this is hard to even pick up that I've actually got a gap there. See, you can hardly pick that up at all. Now the other piece I'm going to do before I go to the machine, I want to put this piece here on. So I've cut some other pieces in the correct size. Now there's one on the front and one on the back and the, the inside one here is actually not as long because when the envelope turns you don't want that to get in the way. So I want to make sure once again that I've got it up the right way. So that will sit like that. So no, it's upside down. And so we've got to check. When I turn the envelope to the back like this to put something in it, I want that up the right way. So I have to make sure it's 
in the correct position. So again, I'm going to tack that down. I find that that's enough when I take it to the machine. It's enough to actually get it sewn. And this one goes on the inside. So again, I'm looking at, it doesn't really matter with this one because it's kind of all over the shop anyway. This is, you're not going to see that much of that. Once that goes in there, let's line them up. Once that goes in there like that, when you're looking in the envelope, you're not going to see that it's just a slight, slightly bit shorter. I could have made it the same size though. It probably would have been fine. With this piece for the bottom flap, you need to make sure you leave the tiniest little bit, like maybe a millimetre, less than a millimetre, you can see there, so that you can fold that up and you don't get it catching when you fold it up. And to help that, I'm going to put down some washi tape. Okay, so here's where I'm up to. I've gone and sewn this. So I probably should cut some of these threads off. It was a little bit thready. And I've sewn the front cover, both the front and the back, both pieces, on. And then the other thing I've done is I've sewn around the window. Let's put that out of the way. So I've sewn around this window here. Just like that so far. I haven't put it down, I'm just sewing that piece along the bottom. So I had to sew around there before I put this on, otherwise you would see the stitching in here. And then this will fold up here, and that's going to become my pocket. So I'll probably end up stitching that on, actually. Yeah, I think I'll probably stitch that on to there, it'll be more secure. But right now I just want to decorate this up. So I'll glue this top piece on so I don't have too much stitching on the inside. Let's grab my glue and just put some around here and it should hold. Sometimes it doesn't hold when there's stitching there I've found but hopefully it's going to hold. It can go down this top bit here, that's fine. Help it stick on. Now it's sticking out a tiny little bit but I can trim that off later and you can see my stitching's lovely and straight but I really didn't worry about that it was more about just putting some stitching on and I like that look and you can also see that that washi works really well along the bottom you get that nice hidden crease you know the fold is hidden there and then when I sew that on later I'll just sew down the sides there before I finish it up Right now I want to decorate this little window pocket and the rest of the envelope. I've pulled out some paper dolls to put in here. So I've got five, one, two, three, four, five, yes, these are a set. I'm just going to put them in now and make sure their legs are down. Now their legs will be tucked inside in most cases. The little girl sitting on the edge won't be, I'll leave her out. most of their legs will be tucked in here and it's just a matter of working out what looks nice where I mean just work out the composition don't put all the tall ones together you know, don't put all the little ones together and then the little girl now my intention is to do a lot of these because I want to use up these envelopes. So I'm going to sit here on the edge of the envelope, the edge of the window, just there, like that. I need to glue her feet down a little bit better than I did. I've got a stamp here, I'll put that up the top. Pop this down here. I don't think that's going to stick on the, the, because of the stitching. I may have to put it elsewhere. Maybe I'll put it up this way. Hmm, doesn't really look any good like that, does it? I'm going to put some glue on it. And then this is going to 
be sewn down which I think I can do that now and when you look in there you're not going to see that I've shortened that a little bit and the reason I shortened it is just to get the bulk out of that fold there for no other reason I wasn't being mean with the paper I could have used the right size I just wanted to shorten that a little bit I think that's fine I don't think I need anything else on there I was thinking about putting something else on but I really don't think I need anything on there so all I have to do now is sew the sides it's six and what did I say six and a half inches wide it's actually six and five eighths of an inch wide but you don't have to put it this way in your journal you could put it this way as a separate um, pocket a free floating pocket because you're going to have a pocket at the back here you don't have to have it in this way if your journal's not big enough you can put it in like this so the other thing that you could use it for which I just realized when I was looking at it is that you could actually use it as a gift card envelope so you could pop you know your gift cards or whatever it is you're giving somebody in here and then put the whole thing into a bigger envelope and give it to them so thanks for joining me this is Deborah cheers